an impending indictment of Donald Trump. It breaks my heart. How do you feel? This is horrifying. This is insane. I'm worried. I'm worried for him. I'm worried for us. I'm worried for the country. God save President Trump. I didn't know what else to say. You know, over the weekend, I was so confused by the reports. Could this really be happening? God save President Trump. He does not deserve this. We do not deserve this. The country does not deserve this. I hope God protects him and thwarts his enemies. I know some people say this is going to help Donald Trump. And God, he does have a knack for turning bleak, horrible moments into something amazing. And that could happen. Very much so. Reminds me, though, a little bit of August 8th, 2022, when the FBI went into Mar-a-Lago. Remember that? The haters of Trump are destroying this country. Their hatred is that intense. By the way, since then, we found out Joe Biden was actually guilty of what they're accusing falsely of Donald Trump of having done. The left is out to destroy this country, and why wouldn't they? I mean, they believe it's systemically racist, a haven of white supremacy, and they want to throw it all away. The people do not understand Donald Trump, but we do. We do. The political elites, the ruling class, the swamp, the deep state, they do not know this man. Even some people who claim to have been friends with him at one point do not know this man. He only profits and does well in chaos and turmoil. The chaos and turmoil is brought by these people, the swamp. Absolutely. He's not about chaos and turmoil. You know what he's about? Ideas and presenting them to the American people like he did in 2016. Remember? It was a very simple campaign. He decided, and the political class was laughing at him, I'm going to have a series of rallies. I'm going to go out there and talk directly to the American people, and I'm going to do it in my own way. They rolled their eyes, they laughed, but this worked. And it was simple. It was direct. He didn't need gimmicks. He did not need tricks. It reminds me a little bit of Truman. Harry Truman. Yeah, Harry Truman. Dewey defeats Truman. Do you remember what uh, they used to say to Harry? Give him hell, Harry. Right? And what did he say in return? I don't give them hell. I just tell the truth about them, and they think it's hell. Doesn't that kind of remind you of Donald Trump? Just a bit. All right, to the matter at hand, this indictment. It centers on this guy, Cohen. I'll get into the merits or demerits of the case in a moment, but a big source of the problem is this guy right here. He loves attention. You can tell. I mean, he's feasting on it. This is what motivates him. And for a long time, sorry to say, he was just basically a, a schlubby guy and nobody paid any attention to him. This is his moment. Uh, here we are back in 2014. You see that guy? I, I'm the one with the sunglasses on. The guy over there in the middle, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's Michael Cohen, and that's Eric Trump on the left. It was a charity walk over the Brooklyn Bridge. It was a nice event, and I'm glad Michael participated. But that's when I realized he's not in touch with reality. This man had delusions of grandeur, and he never should have been around Trump. That's a problem. You got to remember this, though. Forget the Stormy Daniels stuff, all right? This man was desperate to keep himself out of trouble and out of jail for a significant period of time because he did some really bad things. Number one, tax evasion. And let's go through it. They're serious. This is not small amounts of money. A $100,000 payment received in 2014 for brokering the sale of a piece of property in a private aviation community in Ocala, Florida. He didn't declare it. Next, please. Approximately $30,000 in profit made in 2014 for brokering the sale of a Birkin bag, a highly coveted French handbag that can sell up to $300,000. Next, what else? More than $200,000 in consulting income earned in 2016 from an assisted living company purportedly for Cohen's consulting on real estate and other projects. All told, this is from the U.S. attorney. He pleaded guilty to this stuff. Cohen failed to report more than $4 million in income, resulting in the avoidance of taxes of more than $1.4 million due to the IRS. That's a big problem. 
They found it and they applied so much pressure. Give us something on Trump, anything on Trump. He was so desperate to stay out of jail. I, can, I don't blame him, really. Uh, his former lawyer. You think a guy whose mindset right at that moment is a lie, cheat, steal, shoot somebody, whatever it takes, I'm not going to jail. Well, he went to jail and now he's on the revenge tour. I understand it, but I don't condone it. And that's why I went in there today to tell these people the truth about who the real Michael Cohen is and what he was actually saying at that moment in time. Yeah, what he was saying to this man, and he was way from his uh, uh, client attorney uh, privilege uh, because, well, Michael Cohen gave him permission a while back to help on a book. Take a look at these quotes from the fixers. One thing I can tell you is that I'm never going to spend one day in jail. Never. I will do whatever the F I have to do, but I will never spend one day in jail. Cole told them, the lawyers, including Costello. Next, please. I swear to God, Bob, there's nothing that I did with the Trump organization and nothing I did in the past that violated the law, Cohen said. Not the first time Costello's been lied to. Costello told Cohen that the pressure he was feeling was by design. The FBI and federal prosecutors wanted him to believe he had no other option but to cooperate. And he did. And he sold out himself and his former friend, and hurt a lot of people. Anyway, more on the demerits of this uh, Stormy Daniels thing in the next block. But I want to point this out. Yesterday on the Sunday shows, all this stuff about the um, pending indictment dominated. Uh, look at that, 150 mentions of Trump, just 35 of Joe Biden. But there should have been a lot more about Joe Biden. In fact, all these shows, they should be doing specials. They should be having hearings. I mean, maybe even... Well, you could figure out what kind of hearings I might like to see. But Joe Biden, his family, the $3 million transferred from China, from that energy company in China, to a pass-through account, and all that money hitting Hunter Biden's account, and James Biden, Joe's brother, and Haley Biden. It is totally crazy. And it's happening. It's a big, big, big deal. And those Sunday shows I was just talking about are in the rest of the press. Let's go through it, please. Biden, China, cash, zero mentions on Meet the Press. Zero. Uh, this is the This Week with uh, whoever the hell's hosting it this time. Zero mentions. Next, please. Uh, face the nation or deface the nation, as it's sometimes called. Zero mentions of this very important story. State of the Union, that telethon of a show on CNN, zero mentions. Now. That brings us to our friends at Fox. I'm Mike Emanuel, in for Shannon Bream. Russia takes down an American drone as China tries to chip away at America's superpower status. Yeah, Fox News is going to at least address this. They let us down before, and they're letting us down now. <laughs> this show, uh, it's an hour long. It came up at the very, very, very end. They had to meet this reporter. They had to meet that Democrat senator and this guy and that guy and the spokesman. And, and then during the chit-chat at the very end of the show, there's former Congressman Jason Chaffetz. At 10.51, he manages to get a word in, all right, eight seconds on the Biden situation. Go! Meanwhile, the Bidens are taking millions out of China, and nobody says a word. Nobody goes after that. Hey, good for him. And then it was basically all Juan Williams, nice guy, but <laughs> trying to shut him down and yell and scream. That nobody even pays if attention you have any to that. Evidence, put it on we, the table. Oh, There's no evidence. There is a lot of evidence to that. Money out of there China. are bank statements and oh, transactions. Look, this week, uh, Jim Comer at the House said, "Oh yeah, here's this bank statement that went to Joe Biden's uh, former. I think it was yeah, Joe his, Biden's his daughter-in-law daughter is right. in a school counselor." You see what's happening here? The liberal is talking more, and whenever the congressman, former congressman, talks, he gets talked over. So eight seconds, eight seconds on the Fox News Sunday show. And why is it important? Well, Joe Biden just might be compromised. And at the very least, we know that Joe Biden, well, he lied. It's amazing what's going on right now. Donald Trump writes a check with his own money for a hundred and what is it, thirty thousand dollars to Michael Cohen, pays his own lawyer his own money. 
He's in trouble. Joe Biden gets $3 million, his family, in that pass-through account, right? Look it up. It happened. And he's not a word about it. This is insanity. And yes, he did lie to the American people again. I don't make money from China. You do. I don't make money from Ukraine. You do. I don't make money from Russia. You made three and a half million dollars, Joe, and your son gave you. They even have a statement that we have to give 10 percent to the big man. You're the big man, I think. I don't know. Maybe you're not. But you're the big man, I think. Your son said we have to give 10 percent to the big man. Joe, what's that all about? It's terrible. My son has not made money in terms of this thing about uh, what are you talking about? China. I have not had it. The only guy made money from China is this guy. He's the only one. Nobody else has made money from China. How dare he lie to us again like that? How dare he talk to us like that again? Defense team, defense lawyers from Hunter Biden said, acknowledged last week that, yep, there's money here. Hunter Biden sought a joint venture with a privately owned legitimate energy company in China. Yeah, legitimate. Hunter received his portion of good faith seed funds which he shared with his uncle, James Biden, Joe's brother, and Haley Biden. Uh, the accounts so dramatically listed by Representative Comer belonged to Hunter, his uncle, and Haley, and nobody else. But I thought nobody made, nobody made money except Donald Trump, right? Nobody made money. No, Haley made money. Hunter made money. Uh, Jim, your brother, and most likely you, let's face it, all right? and your body language on the denial. This is priceless. When Trump says what he says about China, watch what happens. I don't make money from China. You do. <laughs> uh, I think that was a legit reaction. You can go your whole life when you're a very important person and people actually don't speak the truth to your face, huh? I could get used to this a lot, seeing Joe exposed to the truth.